Hey Fringers, it's Peter here again and finally I am back in my garage gym. So we've got my rig behind me, my bars on the wall, got my kids hanging out trying to sell <clears throat> beverages fizzy water. to the neighbors. To yeah, very nice sweetie. So really happy to be home. I'm actually taking off in a day or two to the CrossFit Games. And if you guys are gonna be at the games, I'm only gonna be there Friday night. So feel free to text me if you wanna meet up or possibly catch a wad or something like that. My personal mobile is 512-423-6275. So love to get together with any and all fringers that are there. But anyways, <clears throat> talking a little bit about the sale of the week. The sale is on kettlebells. And kettlebells are actually one of the first products that we brought in for Fringe. And it's a, uh, you know, a training implement that I really, really like and have used over the years. So I'm gonna show you one of my personal kettlebells here. So there's an artist here in Austin named Connie Arismendi, and we'll link her up in the notes down below. And in addition to doing sculptures and that sort of thing, she also does art on kettlebells. So this is a custom kettlebell that she made for me years and years ago. And one of the things about that kettlebell is that it's got Icarus on the bell because for whatever reason, I've often personally identified with Icarus, uh, Icarus rising or whatever. I, I feel like I'm always striving just at the edge of my abilities and every now and then I get knocked down. Of course, I get back up and Icarus, I guess, didn't get back up. Uh, quick side note, not that it really matters. I was doing some research on the, the Icarus myth and they, a number of scholars actually think that rather than Icarus and Daedalus, his father crafting wings out of wax and feathers, that, that the wings were actually a metaphor for ships that they built. Like maybe it's based on a true story and there were these two gentlemen, you know, imprisoned on an island and then they built ships and somehow Icarus damaged his mast and his sails and that's where you get kind of him flying too close to the sun and the wings falling apart and then of course him falling to his death. Anyways, back to the point. <laughs> we're doing 10 to 20% off kettlebells this week and our kettlebells are, are really awesome. Right now we're only doing them in kilogram sizes but that's a really common thing for kettlebells. For me personally, oh man I'm sweating here, it's Austin, Texas, super hot. For me personally, I am a big fan of just like a 16 kilo kettlebell for like really easy male warm-ups. And then for actually working out, I usually personally use a 24 or 32 kilo kettlebell. So I do a lot of my workouts with, uh, with 32 kilo kettlebells, about 70 pounds. And lately I've been doing a lot of farmer's walks and that sort of thing with the 70s. So if you want to do a, a really great warm-up exercise, I, I don't you know, know about the programming necessarily on this, but one of the things that I do is I do... Uh, 21, 15, 9 of snatches, just going arm to arm. So sorry, so basically I'll start with my left arm with a 16 kilo kettlebell and then do 21 snatches, then 21 snatches with the right arm, and then 15 with the left, 15 with the right, nine with the left, nine with the right. And that's a really great warm up that I really enjoy. So uh, something else that I've enjoyed doing with a 24 kilo kettlebell is there's a 10,000 swing challenge for to do 10,000 kettlebell swings in a month and I've not ever done that I don't don't know if I ever will but you typically break that up into 500 swings per workout and the way you do 500 swings per workout is you do uh, sorry I'm trying to remember what the okay I think yeah you do 20 30 50 so you do 20 swings and then rest, 30 swings and then rest, 50 swings and then rest. And it's pretty brutal on the forearms, especially because you're really working that grip strength. So that's something that you can definitely try out. So again, we're doing 10 to 20% off kettlebells at Fringe. Feel free to pop by and check them out. 
if you're going to be at the games, hit me up. Uh, if you like what we're putting out in terms of, of content, if you're watching this on YouTube, just go ahead, boom, 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 hit subscribe below. And if you, you know, leave us a comment, and if you like what we're doing in email form, you know, tell a friend. And, you know, uh, I also, sending this from Peter at FringeSport.com, I respond to all emails. You know, hit me up, let me know what's going on. And, uh, oh, sorry, one other thing. We've got a whole new slate of barbells coming down the pipe. They, as I record this right now, are not on the site. But if you're really interested in checking out some new high-end barbells, hit me up with an email, peter at Have a great day. Cheers.